question and I've tried to put it in a um, pretty easy words. I, I really don't want to use uh, the finance jargon out here because this video caters to all those who would love to be a part of finance and all those who understands finance and the profiles. By the way, so the major chunk of the profiles will be taken care by the banks. Here, I mean to say uh, the private banks, the commercial banks, the foreign banks, like all sort of banks out here, except cooperative banks, by the way. Now, the banks would contribute like maximum chunk of the profiles as far as MSC finance is concerned. Uh, then comes the second level, which is the research. Now, I'm going to talk about this in detail manner. And a small chunk, um, like let's say around about a 5% or 10% is basically taken care by the investment banks. I'm going to name those investment banks who are actually a regular recruiter uh, on the campus. Now, here's something that you need to understand predominantly is that there are two types of recruiters on any given B school. One is a regular recruiter. A regular one is the one who will visit your college irrespective of the market conditions. Even if it's a recession or even if the market is completely fucked, they will definitely come on your campus. They'll take at least one or two hits from the campus. So these are called regular recruiters. What mistake you guys do is you only look at the brochure of the placement and you think that, okay, you know, yeah, Goldman Sachs IITA is company, uh, you know, Goldman Sachs IITA is campus. So I want to get into Goldman Sachs. So I think a college may really say yoga. But that's not how it works because sometimes Goldman Sachs may come for a year and then it may not just turn up like later on. So these are called as the guest one, right? So they come like, you know, maybe like, you know, uh, once in three years or four years, so on and so forth. So today what I'm going to talk about is basically the regular recruiters that has been, uh, you know, visiting Jamal Bajaj over a period of time, rather every year. So let's have a look at, let's kind of, you know, go in detail about what exactly profiles are getting into banks or what exactly profiles are offered by research and the investment banking domain. All right, starting with the banks first. The first profile that I want to make a uh, note of is the corporate banking. Now, I don't want to get into detail of every profile access, but uh, the only disclaimer that I want to give you is that there are ample of profiles. There are like multi-million profiles as far as finance domain is concerned. I have only pointed out those profiles which are possible from MSc Finance course. Otherwise, the, prof the profiles would differ if you're MBA Finance and if you're MSc Finance kind of a guy. So the profiles would definitely differ, but Today, I'm only trying to tell you guys the profiles that can be offered by MSC Finance and these are the profiles you can definitely get into. It's a 100% guarantee that you will be in one of these profiles if you are MSC Finance student. Starting with corporate banking. Now, corporate banking is one of the cream profile or is one of the best profile that has offered on the campus. Now, um, let me give you a, a clear cut scenario of market. Corporate banking profile is not given by any Tom, Dick and Harry kind of a, a B school. Now, there are people, there are colleges and there are B schools who claims that we have corporate banking profile on the campus. But guys, let me tell you, if you are getting into a bank called as Yes Bank, Stancy, or if you're working with, say, you know, Kotak Bank, and if you are trying to work on the CASA front, which is current account and saving account for the corporates like Infosys and other companies, this is not a corporate banking right it's just that there are certain b schools who camouflage these things and they tell you that okay we have a corporate banking profile and that's what the header sees on their brochure of placement but let's be let's be uh, kind of in a way aware about this that uh, getting into the uh, the accounts getting into the forex you know what do you mean by forex ye forex kya funda hai you remember most of the it companies they send people on site and when they send people on site uh, say SDFC Bank or ICICI Bank caters their foreign exchange needs. So getting that forex card done, you know, getting that forex currency done, that's not a corporate banking profile. Okay, so there has lot been talked about corporate banking profile, but ye corporate banking profile nahi hota. Exactly. You, I understand the point that you are dealing with the corporates, but guys, it doesn't mean that it's a corporate banking. Yeah, it's a, it's a duplicate corporate banking, I would say, right? So understand that this is not a corporate banking. A corporate banking profile is basically when you get in touch with uh, you know, the, the huge corporates. Again, there is a bifurcation. Like, say, if you are working with, say, a Yes Bank, and if you are catering to Infosys, you'll be predominantly working on the project management or the funding needs of a company, wherein you'll be talking about, okay, so if you want to have a project, Okay, you, you are getting, as a company, as a corporate, you're getting into a project. Now, the project needs a funding of, say, around about, say, 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 a million dollar, fine. Then, as a corporate banking kind of a guy, 
you gonna understand okay uh, is it really worth lending this much money to this company okay what are the pros and the cons you know how does the goodwill react as far as this company is concerned you will take care of every scenario macro micro so every damn thing and then you'll come up with the plan uh, whether to lend money to this company or not so this is precisely a corporate banking profile and what i've just told you as an example is a basic part of your corporate banking profile corporate banking profile is huge it's vast and that's the reason all the top notch companies that all the top notch companies they always prefer to take people from top notch b schools for their corporate banking domain and yes jamnalal bajaj is one of the college so when you when you look at any college like any 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 uh, tier b or tier c college agar wo bolte hai corporate banking guys please speak to the alumnus and try and understand what kind of corporate banking they are doing okay fair it up then then comes structured products uh, a, a very good friend of mine and a student of mine um uh, you know he he got into structured products of icici bank now structured product products is one of the i would say a lucrative profile that you can get into now this area basically caters to indian markets okay structured products is kind of derivatives but not exactly derivatives it's it's making um, structured products for the corporates and the other financial houses by the way structured products very much intensive very much technical and uh, requires a lot of um, you know financial skills and the mathematical skills by the way so what kind of recruiters you have on the campus you've got icic bank you've got kotak bank uh, you've got some foreign banks coming on the campus and they hire people uh for their structured products uh um, domain now again uh, let me warn you structured products one of the best profile in finance not offered by all the b schools there are i think in india if i have to say there are 9 to 10 b schools only who can actually give you this kind of a profile but trust me this profile has immense potential upward now if you are somebody who has worked with structured products guarantee 3 to 4 years down the line you can see yourself working with a top notch investment banks in the world maybe maybe a goldman or a deutsche uh, or you know maybe a morgan or a credit suisse by the way so structured product is one of the thing that you can get into then comes wealth management now wealth management is basically catering to hnis or ultra hnis um this profile includes a bit of um, sales and marketing kind of a profile but to be very honest i don't expect anybody coming out of msc finance would be doing so um again it depends on the uh, kind of what kind of uh, you know position is vacant in the company but mostly these guys uh, will be managing the team of wealth managers so you will be managing a team of 10 to 15 heads and you have to get the business done from this 10 to 15 heads again um very good profile high packages uh, great incentives you can make in wealth management that's 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 the amazing profile uh, you know as far as wealth management is concerned so good potential product management now as i just told you right there is a structured product and there is a product management so what's the difference in here so when i talk about structured product structured product is basically a company like icici bank or a bank like hdfc HG, HG, bank they would create some product you know uh, in a in a structured way something some combination you know custom based product for their clients you know which will suit their financial needs a product management guy will not be doing so a product management guy will be working on a plain vanilla products i mean the traditional products uh, it can be anything it can be a mutual fund you know it can be a term insurance it can be um it, it can be any long term investment proposal it can be any damn product that these guys will be working on so how it works basically so say you are a wealth management guy okay you are a manager you are heading a team of say 15 folks out there now you as a manager having a difficulty to sell a product in the market so you, one of the product is not Uh, you're not able to sell this product because of the tough competition and your competitor has the same product yeah so what you do is basically you go back to your product management team and you tell them that hey look this product is awesome but i have some demerits with this product now this product is not sellable competition has kept margin very low so the clients are buying from them so can you make some changes in this product so that this product is better this product is a little classy gives more return that's what the request that you receive now when i say that i want a product who can give good return it doesn't mean that you just say them okay fine chalo do taka bada do panch panch taka bada do koi tension nahi no this it doesn't work like this you have to work the maths you have to understand the market you have to understand your company's ability to finance the product so here you need to understand uh, your financial ability and stability of a company and then uh, you work out with the calculations and you come up with the product 
which can give a good return but it will also take care of your company's risk management so yes if you are a product guy definitely you can get into a good profile i'll tell you kg somaya offers um product management profile uh with companies called as uh, like icis and hdfc wherein they are paid flat 10 to 12 i'm very sure if it's msc finance the range has to be 15 to 16 lakhs and these are desk jobs having great potential in future so that's product management little different but yeah pretty good compliance now compliance is something that caters to msc finance i haven't seen lot of b schools actually providing jobs in the compliance domain of nbfcs and the banks and the other financial institutions what do you mean by compliance in compliance case you will be going through a lot of documentation you will be trying and understand um if there if there is a deal that has been cracked with client x okay then you'll be checking what kind of compliance issues are there like have you fulfilled sebi norms have you fulfilled companies act say uh, indian companies act uh, 2030 norms you know have you uh, what kind of valuations you have done you know uh, the the fundamental or the methodology of your valuation is it really correct so these are the things on an indian market level you'll be taking care of now when we do this kind of thing in investment banks um we basically cater to all the uh, you know international regulators um right from the uh, right from the fed to you know sec and the dot frank and all that stuff so as far as msc finance is concerned definitely compliance jobs are offered exclusively in indian markets yeah so it's it's a good thing um uh, you guys can do later on something called as a security management or you know uh, port security portfolio management kind of a courses there is a college in bombay called as uh, i think it's a government law school gls they have a they have a special program as far as security frauds and security market is concerned it has a great potential in india because we don't have many heads or we don't have many uh, you know people who have been pursuing this so if you are one of a guy who has an msc finance worked in compliance got into the uh, legal uh, kind of thing boy you're going to mint money in in couple of years down the line because because this market is pretty virgin and this market is coming up in india now all right moving on to the next profile that's a treasury management again a fantastic profile people people die to get into treasury management uh, i had already explained this in my um, lecture in pune for um, msc finance that how does a treasury work but yeah this is one of the supreme job if you are working in a bank and an awesome job you're directly working with the treasury and the top notch companies uh, sorry top notch people in the company so treasury management i think is something that you can aim after msc finance because msc finance is a more of a technical uh, thing you know so you have all the uh, you know uh, uh, required knowledge uh, to be very honest to cater to the tre treasury management mb finance guys no they don't make it to treasury management uh, quite often uh, provided you are from you know im and the fms or you know sps yeah so later on i'll be doing uh, one of the uh, video wherein i'll be talking about mba versus msc finance do have a look at that that will clear a lot of doubts fair it now now moving on to retail banking retail banking i really don't want to talk much <clears throat> you know that retail banking is basically catering to customers in all the aspect that your bank really wants you to do the only advantage is that you'll get a big package and you'll get a little bit higher position compared to sydenham kedisham and wellinger whatsoever settlements and operations okay now this profile is an absolutely back office profile you'll be churning out lot of data basically you'll be working as a process manager or you'll be working as a you know a project manager where it will be you'll be working with a lot of cas i think mostly cas are hired these days for settlements and operations so you'll be trying to understand um, how the trade has been working there's something called as trade life cycle okay so you'll be working on this kind of thing a uh, lucrative profile uh, desk job hai a uh, little bit okay okay kind of a growth so yeah uh, kind of an average and okay profile not a problem then comes the credit analyst okay now credit analyst is different when you talk about a bank and credit analyst is different when you talk about financial institutions in credit analyst as far as my experience is concerned i think cs have been given a quite good opportunity in other colleges like sydenham and kg soms even for wellinger wellinger ne sal uh, wellinger mein i think mere khayal se yes bank aaya tha they gave no luck ka package it's a good start yaar yeah. 9 lakhs for a fresher it's a good start now credit analyst is basically trying to understand the credit portfolio of your client absolutely so maybe it's a maybe it's a you know uh, a company like you know if if xyz company approaches 
ICICI Bank for say uh, 50, 60 crore of uh, business loan. Then you'll be checking out all the financial statements. You'll be checking out the business, the nature of the business. You know, um, how does the business react to the current situation of the market? You'll be doing thorough analysis, and then you will be approving this loan. By the way, now you are not involved into the sales directly. There are people, there are teams who are actually generating leads. They'll block the time, the like whatever, like you know, with the client. You are the special guy. They'll take you along. Ki bhai, dekho, this is my client. You have a meet with the client. You check all the details of the client and then tell us, shall we go ahead or not? Really good job, fantastic job, really, really good potential upside. So my my thing is that if, if I have to tell you, credit analyst is the next best thing for next 20 to round about 20 years. Uh, good career. Fair enough. So these are the jobs you can you can kind of think about from bank's perspective. If you are trying for MSC Finance, and these are exclusive profiles uh, only about the MSC Finance. So I'm not talking about MBA uh, Finance at all. Only MSC Finance. At me, yes, definitely you can get into these kind of profiles, and they all are really really good. They are they all are niche, not offered by all the B schools for all the programs. By the way, now moving on to the research. Yes, lot many people, lot many people actually, they try to get into research. Um, research would contain equity analysts. Now, here you have a little bit more opportunity because you can be hired by a bank and you can also be hired by a financial institution. Now, when I say a financial institution, what I mean to say is predominantly uh, 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 brokers, okay, uh, or the dealers or the broking houses or boutique investment banks. Or investment banks yeah so uh, fair enough so equity analysts credit analysts now here is a little different uh, like you know what we talked about earlier credit analysts here we are you're talking about only uh, a company or maybe an individual client as such uh, but here you'll be talking about here the nature of business will be higher ticket size will be higher loan amount will be higher and definitely you will be having a little bit more pressure and the work as well so yeah that's credit analyst then comes market research analyst. Now here you're not going to do any research that has something to do with the products. But here you'll be doing the research on a very high level that, that you know, trying to understand the international economy, trying to understand the macro and the micro uh, factors of the economy, trying to understand the, um, uh, you know, you know anything that will help uh, your company to succeed in that kind of a uh, market. So this is a little high funder kind of a job. But yeah, if you get into this, uh, great, great growth in this kind of uh, profile. So market research analyst is also given by MSC Finance. And I think this is a little lucrative. I haven't seen any other B school giving uh, this kind of profile. Uh, it's only I am Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta kind of colleges. Uh, they, they, they kind of, you know, give this kind of profile. Okay, now then comes the product analyst. Again, a product analyst is somebody uh, who will be catering to one of the product. But again, this is on a very high level. Uh, you'll be talking about the credit default swaps. You'll be talking about the IRSs. You'll be talking about the credit link notes, uh, all the international securities, nothing to do with the uh, Indian market as such. And here I am very sure you will see a lot of foreign companies approaching MSC Finance. Yep, then comes capital market. Uh, no need to talk. It's basically broker houses and uh, dealing in the stock markets. Yeah, then comes retail broking. Again, it's a broking houses basically. Anandrati kind of thing. Anandrati, Sher Khan, Motila Roswal. These are the broking houses. Now, there might be a question in your mind like, shall I really go to uh, co you know companies like this? Uh, after pursuing my, uh, you know, degree from um, uh, college like a Jamalal Bajaj, you know, I think there is nothing wrong to be very honest because if you're a fresher, initial level, you have to learn, learn and learn. And finance is kind of a profile. If you do not have a knowledge, doesn't matter how cool you look, doesn't matter how hot you look, doesn't matter how good you speak, doesn't matter how good you are in presentation. If you are, if you are not good with the knowledge, they're going to kick your ass. That's for sure. So you need to have a great knowledge. And if you have, along with great knowledge, a good communication, a good personality, that's a cherry on the cake then kind of a thing, okay guys? So I think learning is quite a lot over here. Now, moving on to the investment banking. Cool, lot of people, lot of students say that, sir, tell me how can I get into investment banking? Now, I really don't want to disappoint you guys, but the chances are very low. Only 5% profile, I think, will be getting into the investment banking. And the investment bank that comes on the campus, Predominantly Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Barclays. Yeah, Barclays come on J Jamalal Bajaj on a yearly basis. And then I think Credit Suisse also and Bank of America, Bofa. So these are the guys who visits campus on a yearly basis. 
pretty cool but you'll be working in a capacity of so valuation now let me clear this first valuation is basically um it, it can be an equity valuation it can be a debt valuation it can be a derivative valuation so like anything to do with the valuations and you are eligible to do valuations because agar aap mba finance dekhte ho mba finance mein valuation khali 10 ghanta padhaya jata hai 10 ghante se zyada nahi hota but mere khayal se msc finance is a course where it, these are the core um aspect of a financial industry and these guys have been giving quite a lot time as far as valuations is concerned then comes equity analyst yes goldman sachs comes uh, for equity analyst profile they give quite good package couple of students of mine last to last year they they got through this so yeah equity analyst is one of the profile they moving on to derivatives back end so yeah uh, investment banks they deal quite a lot in derivatives so jahan pe hum baat karte hain kind of a back office profile but 12 से 13 लाख की पैकेज आपकी लग जाएगी यहाँ पे सो डेरिवेटिव बैक एंड प्रोफाइल इज गुड बिकॉज इंडियन मार्केट इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट फॉर डेरिवेटिव नो इट्स स्टिल वर्जन मार्केट एंड इट्स ग्रोइंग बट इफ यू लुक एट द इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक लाइक गोल्डमन एंड ऑल्चर एंड ऑल दैट दिस गैस आर वेरी अग्रेसिव एज फार एज डेरेवेटिव मार्केट इज कंसर्न सो इफ यू हैव अ बिट ऑफ आइडिया यू कैन यू कैन ट्राई टू वर्क विद दिस गाइज फॉर लाइक थ्री फोर इयर्स गेट यूर सी एफ एड डन लेटर ऑन मूव अब्रॉड एंड परस्यू यूर यू नो a dream wall street kind of a career basically so yeah so these are the uh, uh, profiles in a nutshell that can be offered by msc finance these are all great profiles these are all cool profiles and the best profile to work in finance and this is what exactly is finance i mean if you're not in one of the profile then you know anyway so if you are somebody who really wants to make career in finance i think msc finance is one of the best bet that you can have for the next 3 months so do give a thought to it and if you have any question you can get back to me i'm just going to tell you how all right so if you are somebody who really wants to give it a shot to msc finance course uh, still you have to and a half months in your hand you can definitely call me on this number for a pune classroom coaching bombay classroom coaching or maybe for an online also this is my fb page you can get in touch with me i am going to put a uh, couple of more videos about msc finance wellinger gdpi um and and lot many things so uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, to get updated uh, but yeah give it a thought uh, about msc finance my recommendation one of the best course in the country to pursue your uh, career in finance thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you